friends welcome back to my channel i am reviving our 15 minute friday series i haven't done it in so long but i figured i'd give it a shot and start uh, brainstorming some ideas of getting it done so i'm going to be working in this six by eight album it's kind of just a personal album that i've worked on here and there um, like a letter to myself this was a brutal lesson I learned. <laughs> and then this is actually another 15 minute Friday video where I did this side on the video using the same kit. So this is the Give Story Kit by Allie Edwards and I am going to be working with it today. I am gonna use this peach protector. It's a four by six on the bottom and two three by fours. And let me show you what I had in mind. So I'm going to tell you, I wanted to document this story that we're living right now. Um, we, my son was home with COVID for two weeks and is in the process of doing all the makeup work and really, really, really trying my patience in many, many ways. So I wanted to tell a story about how I am giving love to him right now, even though it is tough love. So I have um, these double-sided cards. So the cards that used to be in the story kits were double-sided. They've since changed to single-sided so that we don't have to, you know, make a really tough choice. So I am going to work on that and what i do on 15 minute fridays is i just keep you live for 15 minutes and i just work and i brainstorm some ideas and get stuff going i try to get as much done in 15 minutes as i can this is just a story that i want to document there's no um doesn't have to be fancy i have to just let go of everything having to have embellishments and fanciness and all of that because sometimes I just need to get the stories documented and this is definitely one of those stories. I have a picture but I haven't printed it out. It's of him sitting at the dining room table. The many nights we've been doing this lately <laughs> and bemoaning the fact that he's got in having to do all this work so all right my idea was i cut apart a bunch of these hearts my idea was to put them along the bottom here and to use this label down there so what i'm gonna do is move that aside let's see i hope that you guys are well we've been dealing with so much craziness past month has been very challenging in our family so I am trying to get into a routine of posting here on YouTube um, in a more systematic way so that my channel is being updated and I'm doing the things that I love because this is one of the things that I really really enjoy there is a red one somewhere Half the battle is finding the stuff on my desk. That's 10 minutes of the battle. Okay, so that is was my idea. I was going to do this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it tucked under. Probably hear my cat. She's outside. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. So maybe I will um, put that aside. I did want to add this guy to the top of this um, right here. <clears throat> I'm going to just, I'm just going to keep this card as it is, but I'm going to add a label at the top and a label at the bottom just to add some more color, but I'm just going to leave it give love. I might just put, even though it's tough love, <laughs> because y'all, he is, his middle school self is really trying my ever loving patience. Just those of you with middle school boys probably can relate. 
to this story. <laughs> All right, let me grab some scissors. This kit is very old. I don't even know when it's from, so I can't link it for you, but I, you know, there's new story kits all the time. So I'm gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom, the same label. Um, usually when the label stickers come in the kit, there's two of them. So I am super happy for that. Even if there were wasn't, I would definitely be buying another set of labels because I love these. All right, here is my T-square ruler, which will help me make sure that it is lining itself on the top and the bottom. My cat ran outside and now she wants back in. She's not supposed to be outside, y'all. But she wanted to go outside so bad. So I let her go outside and then of course, as soon as I start filming, she wants to be let back in. <laughs> so as soon as I end this video, I'll let her behind back in. All right, so I'm gonna cut this excess off and this card pretty much is done. The only thing I could do is stamp with the, um, there's some, let's see, season of giving, that's pretty cute. Seriously, give me a break is a good one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that, season of giving. I'm gonna use a black ink. My favorite ever black ink is the Close to My Heart Archival Black. I will link it for you below. It is my all time favorite. You can get it from um, Bethann Black. She is amazing consultant. I have done design. You'll probably see more things coming from close to my heart here on the channel because I'm doing design work for her. But yes, so good. You're going to see exactly why. So the key when stamping, put it in the middle. If it's not the same size, if your block is not the same size as your stamp, put the stamp in the middle to prevent a lot of rocking. And I did rock that a little bit. It's gonna take quite a bit to dry for that. So, and then I use to clean my stamps, I just use a chamois that I've cut apart and I keep in this thing I got at Target Dollar Spot. It's like one of those four by six things that you can store photos in that you can get at Michael's, but it's smaller than four by six. So I'm gonna put this aside because as you can see, that's pretty wet. All right, let's work on this card. Decide what we're gonna do. Love this season of giving. No, I do not give. I don't love the story. So this is a funny thing. I am just annoyed with him. The heart that gives gathers. Hmm, that might be something. Oh, that's perfect. Something's got to give. I don't know, but then they're double-sided, so. This is a Dave Matthews quote, and that's not applicable. So here are my choices. Something's got to give, which I could put right here in the middle. We also have some chipboard. Okay, so let's see. Let me get all the things here. Labels, that's pretty cute too. Give on, and I'm gonna use my blending brush. All the products that I'm using will be linked below, except for, of course, the kit because it's no longer available. So, just gonna use this. <laughs> She's so funny, y'all. And add some water. wants in so bad y'all because she went out and she knows she wasn't supposed to go out and you can pick up the water and see what it does good stuff right there it's not as bright so 
what I will do is I am going to put this probably here and then this off to the side or I need some more. And you activate it with the water, it changes, almost changes color. And that's so cool. I love these things. I love the Tim Holtz line, it's so good. He knows what he's doing, that's for sure. Okay, so we have that guy we can put right there. Sorry, my hair is in the way. And then what if we put this? All right, let's see. And put here right in the middle we'll glue that down before we before we proceed let me go ahead and glue this down oh we moved off of a there we go so wait a minute can't see the bottom all right so we're gonna put this up here Just like so and then we'll cut off the end you have to be careful because this has the ink on it so I don't want to I don't want to put my card there because then we'll have it on the front of the card and we don't want to do that all right so that's that not too terribly straight <laughs> We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. This is what takes 90% of my time when I'm scrapbooking is my perfectionism. Just saying. This is why I have a T-square ruler because then I don't have to guess about this being off. I just fix it. Let's see. That's a little excessive, Christy. All right, so we'll move that like that. That should be straight. Perfect. That down, and then let me grab my scissors, and we'll cut, snip the end of that off. Just like that. And then if you're worried, one of the things that I've learned is if you're worried about it not being completely straight, if you add distress to it, you can't even tell. So I'll use my edge distressor and you won't even be able to tell if it's not like 100% perfectly straight. Make sense? All right, so there's that. And then I have this give, and I will put the this on the edge. So if you guys have ideas for what you would like to see during 15 minute Fridays, I would love to hear in the comment section because that helps me figure out what I can do. Um, usually I try to keep it right about 15 minutes and I try to get as much done as possible, which is pretty challenging for me because I am a very, very slow scrapbooker. Let's just put it that way. All right, so then I can put this here. All right, so let me cut this guy in half. The reason I did the other one in half on my trimmer is because I wanted to make sure that the label was all the way straight. Because if I cut it right down the middle, then I can make sure it's straight. All right, I let the cat in so y'all didn't have to listen to her moaning. All right, so I'm gonna put this here and then I'm going to take this guy with my trusty tweezers and I'm going to put it not with I don't know why I have so much my hair is everywhere like that and then I'll put this on there And then we'll 
get the hearts. Ooh. Maybe I'll just use, well, the reason I was gonna bring the other ones in, let me not smear this. The reason I was gonna bring the other colors in is because it's down there. So maybe I'll do that, just the three. And then that would tie in all the colors. What y'all think? I think that looks good. So yeah, give me ideas down below for I um, things I should do on mixed, no, not mixed media, um, on 15 minute Fridays. It's very hard for me to get anything of substance done in 15 minutes, but I do give it my best try. Oh yeah, I like it like that. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the hearts on. Here is the final project. I um, did the, the four by six card, I added the title, the hearts, like I had talked about some stamping, and this is from the Give Story Stamp. Then I did this card, which I worked on with the tabs, added some of these um, epoxy, I don't know if they're puffy, maybe puffy heart and a puffy word. And then for this one, I made a flip up. What is everything, it, we, I live in Florida, so everything because of the humidity is, falls off. It's been so humid here, so I'm gonna stick those down. But I made a flip up here and I dated it. And let me read you the journal journaling. These have been some of the most difficult moments as a parent. Lane is failing six of his eight classes and has reached the point of hopelessness. In order to help him catch up with all the missing assignments, I made him move his laptop downstairs. He was disgruntled, to say the least. I have to closely monitor him as he works and he was not productive in his room. I am hopeful that as I give more time to helping him, his attitude and performance will all improve. So that is this week's 15 minute Friday. I got most of this done during the 15 minutes. I just added the journaling and all the little bits and bobs, but it will go in my story album here. And all I do is I find a place, get you up a little bit. I just find a place that it fits. So this is from the election results. So I will just stick it in my note in my story album right here. And this is an Allie Edwards story album. It's a six by eight album. So it works out perfect for these kinds of pages. So that will just go in there and I just add stories to this as I want. So y'all, thanks so much for tuning in this Friday for 15 Minute Friday. I'll be back again next week with another 15 Minute Friday video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. All the products that are still available will be linked um, in the description box. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you. Your thumbs up, comments, likes are all appreciated. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, I hope you have time to get creative. Bye.